0.9 is a little bit harder, and now we're going to come up with an equation if we're given the graph. So imagine Ferd's got some loan that he borrowed from mom and dad, 1700 bucks, right? And he's got to pay them back every month. And if this was the graph relating his payments, um, can we figure out an equation to represent that is where we're going? You can see we start by, you know, it's broken down for you. Use the graph to determine the rate of change. Okay, remember rate of change is rise over run. That's what I have here. So looking at this graph, good to make a little triangle. And the rise is um, the difference between, so I took the two points that were given. So you can kind of see the two points there. Um, and it gives you even the data points. So I use those. You don't have to use those. You could use any two points you want as long as they're on the line. But these were given. So my rise then is, uh, is this one minus this one. So it starts here and it moves to here. So the rise is 450 minus 1200. So negative 750. And if in doubt, if you'd done it the other way around, right, you did this one minus this one, um, and you got a positive number, you would just have to know that it's negative because you can see the slope is a negative slope, right? Um, the run is how far across it goes this way. It goes from 2 to 5, so the run is 3. And so the rate of change is always rise over run, at least as far as we're concerned, okay? And so the rate of change, breaking it down per month, because that's what this is, is months, is uh, 250 or negative 250 per month. Okay. Uh, it asks you, is it partial or direct? Um, I know you guys are really good at this. It's partial because it does not go through zero, zero. Okay, and that's how I know. Uh, part C asks us, here's the question, write an equation. Okay. So we're writing the equation out right here. You'll do a let statement just to make sure the variables are clear. So A is the amount owing at any point. So at the very beginning, it'd be the full 1,700, and at the very end, it'd be zero. But A is how much Ferd owns at any given point in time. And M is how many months he's been paying for. Okay? So what you think of when you do any of these graphs with partial variation, it's going to be the fixed amount or the starting amount, which is 1,700. It's usually plus the slope times plus the slope times, um, or plus the rate of change times whatever's on the x-axis. In this case, it's minus because our slope is minus. Okay? So normally you'd have a plus there. But it makes sense that this number is going to get smaller. When you subtract, you make the number smaller. It's going to get smaller every month. Okay? And that's what you see on the graph. And so it's going to be the original amount, subtract the slope, times the number of months. And partial variation always is like that. Direct variation is the same, except for this number here is zero. Okay, but a partial variation is just the fixed, the fixed amount, the starting value, the initial value, plus or minus the slope or the rate of change times months. Okay, so that's our equation. And part D just says use the equation to determine how long it will take for it to pay off his loan. And that's where you come down here, so that's where I am right here now. So here's my equation, and what it's asking me to do is find out the number of months, m, where my a equals zero, and, and we can read it off the graph to start, right? I can read it here and say, okay, that's six, that's seven, so it's going to be somewhere close to seven. So I can estimate my number to begin. And if you follow through on the writing then, um, it's when there's no amount left, so zero it goes on the left, equals 1700 minus 20, <coughs> excuse me, 250 m, and you know this. You know this then to find, uh, you want to get m by itself. So I'm going to bring it I'm going to bring the m over to this side of the equation by adding 250 to both sides, 250m to each side. And then to get m by itself, you divide both sides by 250. And you've been practicing rearranging your equations. You should be pretty good at that. And you get that m is 6.8 months. And you know your answer's good if you can look on here and it looks about right. Right? So you should check that. It's important. So if you got, you know, 2,700 months or something, you look at the graph, you know you're wrong. It's not going to take that long to pay off the loan. Just make sure you look at the graph to make sure your number makes sense if you have a graph to use. Okay? So a couple more questions, and when you're done those questions, you can come join me on this video here.